In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a digital travel brochure in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added three images here. In the center, I've added some green mountains, the left, the beach, and the right side, the eye filter. And then I've added a text called the travel here. And when I click, it, the image changes. And then I've added the few clouds. Okay, and then the text got changed with style. And then you can add some uh, detailed text here. So it looks something like this. You can see here travel with style so depending on the requirement you can add multiple uh, slides as well and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle and draw the rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to the format shape under fill select the picture or texture fill and click on insert go to online pictures and i'm going to type a blue gradient here and you can just choose any uh, good uh, gradient color from this so let me just choose some nice color maybe this one and click insert so you can see here one a blue gradient has been inserted here then go to insert shapes from the rectangles again i'm going to choose the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size and make sure it is center shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give a white color then i'm going to give some uh, editing this uh, particular shape so right mouse click go to the edit points and you can see four point this point i'm just going to drag a somewhat down like this and if you want you can make it somewhat up here then I'm going to add two more or you can just duplicate this one by pressing Ctrl D give some different color and press Ctrl D there's one more here so this one I'm going to send this to back and then I can right mouse click edit points and I can reduce the size like this you can see here all right and if you want you can just reduce the size so this is one shape and for this one again right mouse click edit point and this one I can make it move up and this one I can move it down and somewhat here like this and this also should be back so you can see here I've added uh, three rectangles and one more rectangles where I'm going to add the title for that I'm going to use one rectangle here at the bottom all right and again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give uh, maybe a color uh, gold or orange whatever then right mouse click edit point I can just edit the point like this you can see here all right so now once this is done what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a few images here you can insert the images by clicking by selecting this one go to the picture or texture fill and click on insert and you can insert if you have already have the images uh, saved in your local PC so you can click from a file option or if you want you can search it from the online so click it online pictures and here I'm just going to put say some uh, mountain view or whatever it's up to you whichever image you'd like to choose it you can see here I've got a different mountain views here all right so any any mountain i can just choose maybe i can just choose this mountain and click insert here all right so uh, image of the mountain has been added here so here i'm going to insert one more so go to pictures click insert online pictures and i can just say man watching mountain or climbing mountain or whatever so you can see here you've got uh, different uh, images here so maybe i can just choose this one click insert so these images have been inserted here and again i can add another picture here or maybe i can use some landscape or some beaches okay it's up to you whichever image you'd like to choose it here maybe this image and click insert and you can see here i have inserted these images here and then these things i'm going to choose and press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and here shape fill all right shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and shape outline i'm going to choose white outline all right so now i'm going to select this control z let me just choose this one 
and I'm going to put it like this just for some for something looks good like that only that otherwise no required and then send this to back okay you can see here like this and this also I'm going to send this to back all right so we end up getting uh, some images like this and then what you can do is at the bottom you can insert the text here I will just say travel white font I'm going to choose center align and the font I'm going to use is the hand of Sean and increase the size and put it here so you can see here this is done now this is the first slide done now I'm going to change the images for the second slide so right mouse click click on duplicate slide and here I'm going to change here with travel with style all right so reduce the font size so it should come in one and if you want you can change the color of this one it's up to you now I'm going to choose this particular image and I can just go and click on insert online pictures and again depending on the requirement I can just say uh, snow mountains for example you can see here I'm just going to add a few mountain images here let me just choose some nice images let me just choose this one click insert so one image have been inserted here and now likewise I can just go and click on insert and I can just say man climbing mountain you can see here I can just choose maybe this image or this image it's taking some time yeah now this one also I can just go and change to some other snow cap mountain I can type and I can just choose uh, maybe some nice images or could be this one click on insert so you can see here I have inserted uh, three images of the mountains and then you can add some uh, kind of a clouds for that again for that also go to insert pictures and I'm going to insert online pictures and I'm going to type cloud transparent you can see here I've got different clouds I can just choose this cloud I can choose this one I can choose this one click insert okay reduce the size by holding the shift key and then I'm just going to put it the way I want all right so this one I'll I'll just put it here I can just reduce the size further again if you want you can go to the effects you can go to the soft edges you can do a soft edges as well you can see here so this one let me just put it here like this and could be a back side of yeah this one like this or I think back is not good the front only is good okay so you can see here now I have made it two slides one slide like this another slide like this now the second slide which I'm going to choose to uh, morph transition go to the transition and click on morph now think what you need to do in this particular image now let me just zoom out a little bit okay I'm going to choose this mountains Control C copy and bring it to the first one and this mountains I'm going to move it out from the slide area all right you can see here and this also and this travel this some text which is copied if it is you have to make sure that this is not a copyright images all right now this also copy control C and the second slide I'm going to paste it here and this one I'll move it here okay and again this one I don't want this one but it's better to give the credit and this style control C control V I'm going to put it here all right 
now let's see here how it go looks so now you can see here sorry which one is that this one okay so this is my first slide when i click it moves and it comes the second slide you can see here it looks the animation something like this so you can add as many images as you want with the help of this morph transition